Genesis chapter 49. And Jacob called his sons and said, Gather together, so that I declare you what is to before you in the last days. Gather together and hear, you sons of Jacob, and listen to Israel your father. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my power in the beginning of my strength, the excellency of exaltation and the excellency of power. Boiling like water, you do not excel, because you went up to your father's bed. Then you defiled it. He went up from my couch. Shimon and Lewi are brothers. Their weapons are implements of violence. Let my being not enter their council. Let my esteem not be united to their assembly, because they killed a man in their displeasure, and they lamed an ox in pleasure. Cursed be their displeasure, for it is fierce, and their wrath, for it is cruel. I divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. You, Yehuda, your brothers praise you. Your hand is on the neck of your enemies. Your father's children bow down before you. Yehuda is a lion's cub from the prey you have gone up, my son. He bowed down and crouched like a lion, and like a lion who does rouse him. The scepter shall not turn aside from Yehuda, nor an inscriber from between his feet, until Shiloh comes, and to him is the obedience of the peoples. Binding his donkey to the vine, and his donkey's coat to the choice vine, he washed his garments in wine, and his robes in the blood of the grapes. His eyes are darkened in wine, and his teeth whiter than milk. Zebulun dwells at the seashore. He is for a haven for ships, and his border is on to the Sidon. Ishakar is a strong donkey lying down between two burdens. And he saw that a resting place was good, and that the land was pleasant, and he inclined his shoulder to bear a burden, and became a subject to slave labor. Dan rightly rules his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan is a serpent by the way, an adder by the path that bites the horse's heels so that its rider falls backward. I have waited for your deliverance, O Yah. Gad, a raiding band, raids him, but he raids its heel. Bread from Asher is rich, and he gives delicacies of a sovereign. Naphtali is a deer let loose. He gives words of elegance. Yosef is an offshoot of a fruit-bearing tree. An offshoot of a fruit-bearing tree by a fountain, his branches run over a wall. And the archers have bitterly grieved him, shot at him, and hated him. But his bow remained in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty one of Jacob. From there is a shepherd, the stone of Israel. From Yah, your father, who helps you, and by the Almighty who blesses you with blessings of the heavens from above, blessings of the deep that lies beneath, blessings of the breast and of the womb. The blessings of your father have excelled the blessings of my ancestors, up to the limit of the everlasting hills. They are on the head of Yosef, and on the crown of his head of him who is, who was separated from his brothers. Benjamin is a wolf that tears in the morning he eats prey, and at night he divides the spoil. All these are the twelve tribes of Israel, and this is what their father spoke to them, and he blessed them. He blessed each one according to his own blessing. And he commanded them and said to them, I am to be gathered to my people. Bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Ephron the Hittite in the cave that is in the field of Machpelah, which is before Mamre in the land of Canaan, which Abraham brought with the field of Ephron the Hittite as a possession for a burial site. There they buried Abraham and Sarah, his wife. There they buried Yishak and Rikbah, his wife. And there I buried Leah, the field purchase in the cave which is in it, from the sons of Heth. And when Jacob ended commanding his sons, he drew his feet up in the bed and breathed his last and was gathered to his people.